I want to make sure that you're getting everything you can out of the amazing obituaries you find in newspapers. I want to mention something that you may not be doing. If you're interested in a family history project price quote, send me a message from my profile. So sure, we all go through these obituaries and take note of when someone was born, when they died, locations, surviving children, and siblings to use in our research. But do you stop to try to figure out who wrote the obituary? If you notice some key things, you may be able to figure out the person's living situation at the time of their death and how accurate the information in the obituary may be. With Maisie Timberlake here, it says she died at Gordonsville, Tennessee. I know she was already widowed at this point and Gordonsville isn't where she was living with her husband when he was still alive. So I look at the name children. I see that two of her sons are living in Gordonsville. So it's pretty likely she was living with one of them, but which one? A.B. Timberlake or J.H. Timberlake? It just says A.B. Timberlake of Gordonsville, but for J.H. it says J.H. Timberlake of this place who travels for C.T. Cheek and Son of Nashville. See how there's a little extra info that sets him apart in the obituary? I'm betting he wrote it and that his mother was living with him.